Hi everyone, it's Cheryl, and today I'm here for my video response for Sybil B for her 50 plus 2 um, birthday challenge. So what we're supposed to do for this birthday challenge is create a video showing our face and answer five questions, or not five questions, but say five things about ourselves, five things that we love, and answer two questions at the end. Um, so for my five things, I have them written down just in case um, I get nervous and I forget, so <laughs> this will kind of help me hopefully prevent that. So into my favorite things, the first things that I love the most are my boys and my husband. Um, my husband is my best friend and he's just, I couldn't imagine my life without him. He is really funny so he's always cracking me up. Um, we love to laugh and so he is really funny with that. He's really cute and he's just a really sweet person. He's just a wonderful husband and a wonderful father for my boys. And my three boys are such a blessing. God has blessed us with three wonderful boys. They are so, um, they're so much fun, but they're also such big personalities. It's really been fun watching them grow um, and to have that experience. So those are, that's my first things that I love. Um, the second thing that I'm gonna list is holidays, any kind of holiday. I love Christmas. I love the anticipation of holidays. I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. Um, my little, my youngest son has been sick and now I'm not feeling so great, but I have, I haven't been making a lot of videos, but I've been crafting. So, um, I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. I love, even I know some people consider it like a silly holiday or not even really a holiday. And it's not, but it's just something. I love the bright colors, the pinks and the reds. We've, it's always cold this time of year and it's dark early, um, so this kind of brightens up the day, um, brightens up the time of year. So I love, I love glitter also. <laughs> and I think Valentine's Day is perfect for glitter, anything pink and red. Um, so I love holidays, I love Christmas the most. I love how a plain space can be turned into something beautiful with like a string of lights or garland. Um, I love how everywhere really gets involved with Christmas. Um, stores, doctor's offices, everywhere you go, people seem to really love Christmas. I love birthdays. I look forward to my birthday. I have a countdown for my birthday. Um, it's just silly being 35, still counting down to my birthday, but my husband always makes it really special. So um, I love it. I love for other people's birthdays, making them their favorite foods and trying to get like a nice surprise for them. And, excuse me, just make the day special for them. Um, so holidays, just anything. I love the anticipation. My third point is I love cooking. I love baking and cooking. Um, kind of ties in with holidays a lot, but it is just, I love weekday meals to make them special, to plate the foods into shapes and characters, or color coordinate things, or just to make it look really pretty as if we were at a restaurant, trying to make it special for like a midweek meal. Um, I love trying new recipes, trying out new foods and new flavors. Um, I love baking. I love baking on, especially Fridays. My boys come home from school. I call fi Fridays fun Fridays because I make them a fun breakfast and then usually we have something called a coffee table picnic. Usually we all eat in the kitchen together, but on Fridays we eat in the living room and we eat at the coffee table with a movie, so it's a coffee table picnic. <laughs> and so Fridays, I love to bake, so when they get home from school, there's like a nice snack laid out for them on the table, and then favorite foods, which is like pizza or nachos. So something really yummy, something that they love eating, that we could just sit back and enjoy the meal, and it's not something they dread eating. I have two very picky eaters, so Fridays is just kind of like a break for everybody, from me, what to make that they're going to like, to for them, worrying about what did mom make. <laughs> um, I love making just anything, like elaborate dishes, plain dishes, making like the plain and simple dishes special. So that is my third thing. The fourth thing, I love being outside, I love nature. Um, I love seeing all of God's beautiful creations. Um, you can see like just anything is really beautiful, like the snow on a cold day, how it sparkles in the sunlight, the blue skies and sunsets. I love camping, um, seeing just somewhat of untouched nature. I love seeing, um, I don't know, just anything being outside. I'm not explaining this one very well, but I really love nature. I love being outside. 
Um, the fifth thing I love is crafting. I've always loved crafting. My mom was a really crafty person, not in a bad way, like crafting, <laughs> crafty. Um, and so my sister and I grew up, we always would craft. We would do big elaborate things when we were old enough to be home alone <laughs> and surprise my mom when she got home. Um, we always, it was an outlet for us all. At Christmas we would paint little villages as a family. We would paint anything really that you could get your hands on. At the Michaels, um, our craft store when I was little, it used to be White Rose. And so we'd go to White Rose and we'd pick up things to do for the weekends. We would color. My sister is very artistic. She draws very well, and so she always had sketchbooks on the go. Um, I liked music, but I also liked, um, in terms of crafty things, like sculpting things, Play-Doh, um, paper crafts even. I, even before I got into scrapbooking, I would do, I love making little mini books, which is, I love doing even now. Um, and so it's just always been there for me. Like, we've always been really crafty. And we've always enjoyed crafting. It's always been like something we've looked forward to, or it's also been a release. Like if we're stressed or sad, it's also been something we've been able to go to um, and enjoy. Um, so that is my fifth thing. Now, one of the questions was, what is our favorite YouTube channel? Or some people have also answered what their favorite video is. And I don't really know if I have one. It's changed. My the way I've gone onto YouTube has changed. When I crafted, when my youngest Nathan was little, I really just did a lot of cards. And I think that was mainly just because of time. I always needed to, I didn't have a lot of time, so I needed whatever I was doing to be quick. Um, now that he's four and in school, I have, I'm not working yet. I've been a stay at home mom, so I'm looking for some work that I can do while he's at school. I need to be available to pick up my children. My husband works out of town, so. I've had to be pickier than a lot of people with what I can do. Um, but now that I have the time, I've been making a lot of mini albums and not so much scrap, like layouts, scrapbook layouts, but I've been wanting to do more of them. So the videos I've been watching on YouTube have also been changing. I love um, Christina Warner. She does a lot of beautiful cards and she's very creative and I like her coloring. I have some um, Spectrum Nora markers, so I've been learning a lot from her with coloring, but I also love um, the paper phenomenon. Oh, I can't think of her name at the moment. Um, but she has a lot of beautiful minis, and my sister's keeper, I believe that's another channel. So I don't really have a favorite. I just appreciate a lot. There's so many talented people on YouTube that um, I don't know if I follow one channel, but I definitely search a topic that I'm wanting to do. Or if I get a new stamp set and I'm interested, like I'll search the name of the stamp set to see other creations that have been made with it. So I'm not too, if I, I'm not sure rather if I'm like follow one person specifically, but I definitely notice a lot of people come up again and again. So um, I do appreciate their work. And then the next question we were gonna we were asked is that what is something that we are looking forward to in 2014? And for me, I am getting a new crafting table. My mother has moved and she has a desk and it doesn't quite suit her new space. So she's giving me her desk and it's beautiful. Um, my current table, and I'll show you a part of it. My current table is a folding table and it kind of goes like this <laughs> in the center. So, I mean, not quite that, but kind of like this. So I usually craft like off to the side. And so it's been a real pain. So I am really excited about getting this new table. I can craft right in the middle of it. And I got a new little twirly thing for my tabletop in anticipation for this new table, this new desk. My husband was really sweet and he had a little crafty fun started for me. Um, and so I got a new little spinny thing and I will show that to you in one moment. Hi everybody, and now I'm at my table. I just wanted to give you a quick view of my craft table and that is the seam that I was talking about. So usually when I'm crafting I slide my mat over and I craft on one side and it's much better. Um, and that's my new craft holder. It spins. Everyone has one. I've Not everyone but a lot of people have one and that was really sweet. My husband had saved up so I could get one too. Um, they're not that expensive but it's just, I don't know, I'm trying not to buy a lot of things. I'm trying to save um, money and just reusing what I have. 
have a lot at the moment, so I'm thankful for that. So I just want to appreciate what I have and use, use it. <laughs> but this is the issue, and so that's why I'm really excited about getting my mother's desk. Um, but I just wanted to say a really quick happy birthday to Sybil. I know your birthday was a couple weeks ago, um, and I feel bad I haven't made my video up to this point, but with a sick little guy, and I don't know, I've been kind of battling something, my throat's sore, and I have some sinus issues and asthma going on. Um, I don't, I haven't, I've made one and it didn't turn out well at all, so it's my second attempt at it. And I just really am grateful that you're doing this challenge again. I love seeing everyone's face. I felt last year it just really opened up YouTube for me, seeing faces and um, being able to put the faces to the names, and it's just really wonderful. It's a really creative, unique challenge, and I really appreciate it. It's out of my comfort zone, <laughs> but I really, I really appreciate it. And I love... Um, seeing everyone and seeing you too. So I hope you had a wonderful birthday and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.